back when we did Come Sail Away on the Grand Illusion album, there was no automation, there was no, Pro Tools was not a word back then in 1977. And so when we did mixes, it was all done by hand. And when we did the final mix for Come Sail Away, you know, that instrumental stuff in the, in the middle of it, there were seven of us, all of us with our, our little jobs to do, panning and muting and, and levels and that sort of thing. So it was like 14 hands on this board doing it like that. And if somebody screwed up, you know, in a, in a seven minute song, you had to start all over again. And we were too cool to cut tight. We're not gonna, you know, it's, we're gonna get it in one pass. So, you know, all those little things like do, 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 and hi, that, I, was, I was the synthesizer and I was the hi-hat going back and forth like that. Because what we wanted to do was get back, put the headphones on and go, oh, listen to this. <laughs> and, but, and the only way you could do it was by hand. And Renegade, uh, the take that we have of Renegade, we were in kind of a, in a, an interesting little studio in Chicago. The guy didn't, he, he thought by doing a whole lot of tech work, you'd start to lose the sound of the studio. And so there were, there were some things that were a little funky there. And one of them were the, the braking system on the 24 track machine that uh, Renegade was recorded on. And we had gotten this one take of Renegade that we really liked. We said, That's the one. And he went to rewind it and the machine started spinning out of control. Just like, <laughs> and, and so Harry, the second engineer, just dove, dove on it like that and stopped it with his bare hands cut his hands up a little bit, but he saved Renegade. <laughs>